Minnesota was fired up to host Super Bowl 52, but the February forecast quickly cooled the conversation around the big game. Media dubbed it the cold weather Super Bowl. Moans and groans about the game's location echoed across social media. Even the NFL made it look like a trip to the tundra, and the dog sleds and ice castles didn't exactly say otherwise. All this chatter about cold conditions didn't help the tourism agency responsible for the other 11 months of the year. Explore Minnesota tourism had to flip the script and show people Minnesota is more than cold, it's cool. We took a vacant building in the heart of Super Bowl activity and turned it into the Soda Pop, an interactive pop-up that showcased the best of Minnesota's seasons and regions. This allowed Super Bowl guests to experience the full spectrum of fun the state has to offer. From the north to the south, spring to the fall, tourists got to see and share many reasons to take a trip back. We worked with some of Minnesota's most well-known artists to transform empty window displays into the brightest and most Instagrammable experience of the big game. And their behind the scenes photos helped build excitement among their tens of thousands of followers. Iconic brands like Red Wing Shoes showed off their Minnesota heritage. And a variety of local favorites from Faribault Woolen Mill to Minnesota United FC donned Babe the Blue Ox in a daily scarf. During its 10 days being open, nearly 36,000 people toured the Soda Pop, more than triple our attendance goal. Some even waited over an hour to get inside. Their photos contributed to the 11 million social impressions the space created, including influencers old and young, and a few brands close to home. On top of that, media coverage generated another 72 million free impressions for the brand, including being crowned the Super Bowl's top marketer by industry professionals. All of this activity boosted Explore Minnesota's existing social campaign by 162% and added another 7,000 interested travelers to their channels for years to come. The impressions were nice, but the real victory was changing people's impressions of the cold state and using the world's grandest stage to show everyone the bright side of Minnesota.